guys that don't look like they're in shape look like they just surprise you. Let's see what happens here with yeah, little, little Kenny Wilson here. Absolutely. He's got a low stance. His hands are up, though. He's punching with his hands tighter than uh, I've seen with a lot of fighters uh, coming out tonight. There you go. Take your time. Take your time. A little pressure up against the cage. Eric with the back up against the cage. You see some fighters come out with long shorts and some come out with short shorts. Which is a better technique to have? You know, um, it's really a, a matter of preference. If you have uh, little legs like mine, you might like longer shorts. Right. But if you maybe have the legs closer to that of an Olympic athlete, right. an Olympic sprinter, um, you know, Valley Tudos are sometimes a little preferable. It's more now, just are, you, are you ever allowed to grab any type of shorts? I remember back when the MMA first started that you were allowed to grab shorts. You could grab shorts. You could... Um, there wasn't a whole lot of rules. No, not at all. I think uh, even in Valley Tudo in Brazil, it was pretty much no eye gouging and fish hooking, and I think that was about it. As you see, Eric Kronstadt at the red gloves, Kenny Wilson with the blue gloves. Eric has him pinned against the cage as both fighters are still on their feet. A couple of right hands kind of landing in there that Kenny didn't like. He should be working that right knee. Eric's that right knee definitely has a straight shot when uh, Wilson puts his head down. That right knee is there every time. Kenny trying to foot stomp. Hand to the face here to Kenny Wilson. Keeping the head in the chin, pressure, making him look away. Nice. Couple of right to the left. Clinch, right to the strikes. Oh, very nice. He is out cold. Very nice. That is a knockout. He is out cold. Looks like he's the tapping fight is out. Over. He is tapping out. He's definitely. I don't know which one coach. caught him first. I don't know if it was the right or the left or the kick to the stomach. But you Eric Cronset caught him three times quickly. Dr. Prom makes his way into the ring. Very nice quick finish by Eric. Very nice. Definitely impressive, very impressive. It was a quick right-left combination, and I'm not sure. You know, I think the punches dazed him, and then that kick kind of right to the made sternum. him want to quit. Like he just was going down, and he just got caught. Eric Kronstadt, the winner here in round number one, as these fights just fly by for us. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm not sure Kenny still knows where he's at. He can say he does. Yeah, his corner should Yeah, his corner should be, be in, in there, there with him right now, is what I would be thinking. Team Warfight ought to make their way in there as the girls come in with the trophies. Maybe Get they the can picture. help them up. Let's go to Rebecca here for the call. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at 1 minute 30 seconds KO. It is the Red Corner, Eric Ronstadt. Absolutely impressive knockout in the first round. Again, another good example of a uh, fighter camaraderie and uh, just respect. I'll tell you what, the first three fights have absolutely been spectacular. If you're just getting here or you're missing this live, you are really missing out because that Normally these amateur fights kind of drag on a little bit. Yeah, especially, you know, sometimes when you hit the heavier weight class.